Guys, we all know that board exams are here. Can you score that 90% mark still? Is it still possible? You have solved PYQ, you have solved mock tests, you know things. There you get stuck. Focus well, power well, and then only this 90% marks will be there for you. 10 days left for boards and still wondering, can you score that 90% and above marks in your biology exam? Hi guys, my name is Asta, your biology tutor, your biology educator. Guys, we all know that board exams are here, right? It's just knocking on the door and it will be here within 10 minutes at your doorstep and guys can you score that 90% mark still is it still possible within this 10 days is it possible yes of course it is nothing is possible and how it is possible it is only possible beta if you follow the foolproof and effective strategy but where is that strategy that strategy is here with you that is Asta ma'am is gonna tell you that strategy how you can Turn these ninety, uh, these ten days into ninety percent and above marks. How you can utilize these ten days up to your best so that these ninety percent marks are definitely in your pocket. Now let's get started. So yes, guys, these are the ten days, and you have only one single mission, and that mission is mission ninety percent and above. Now how to get that mission? Let's have a look at the strategy. The very first thing is master your NCRT. Yes, you heard it right. NCRT is your Bible. It's your holy book. It's your everything, beta. Every line of your NCRT, every single diagram of NCRT or shall I say activity given in the NCRT, yellow boxes in the NCRT, questions of NCRT, be it in text or exercise question, every single thing of NCRT is like a holy book. You have to learn it by heart. Yes, even on any single line, the question can be framed from your NCRT book. So do not even think to skip your NCRT. Second is power of PYQ. See, your previous year questions are very much important. They'll tell you what sort of questions come in exam. So that once you go into exam, you do not get any surprises. Oh, assumption reason type of questions also come. Oh, we have a competency based type questions also. So all these questions, if you do not like surprises in your exam, we all love surprises, but not in your exam. If you do not want any surprises in your exam, follow all the previous year questions everyone third point is diagram and labelings make sure you are giving daily at least five minutes to a single diagram practice a single diagram again and again give at least 15 to 20 minutes of your time daily for those diagrams and the labelings because definitely even in mcq the question can comes from the labeling as well so diagrams and labelings are a must do not forget to leave them to study them do not leave them <laughs> answer writing practice present like a topper what do we mean by that so whenever you are practicing any question from your ncrt or from pyq remember how you're writing an answer not only writing is important but how to write an answer how you are presenting the answer matters you are giving a proper introduction then you're writing the body and ultimately you're writing a proper conclusion along with the diagram if required so do not just write the answer present the answer to the examiner lastly please 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 follow the m mcq as well as short answer question as well as long answer question as well as case based question and from where do you get these many questions beta obviously you get these many questions from your mock test so give mock test set a timer of 3 hour Sit in a room which is very quiet, away from all the distractions. Set your timer of 3 hours. Just give your paper as if attempt these mock tests that is you are sitting in an actually exam hall and give your paper as if you are sitting in an exam hall. Dedicate that time entirely and entirely to giving that mock test with honesty without any cheating. Once you've given the mock test, analyze your mistakes. Where have you gone wrong? What has gone wrong? Maybe you are not able to manage your time. Maybe one particular topic is weak. Analyze those mistakes and last step will be work on that mistake so that those mistakes are not repeated once you are giving the second mock test. So give as many mock tests as possible. Lastly, I would say 
final revision once you on the final day revise now how to revise on the final day remember remember that your mind map is your best friend shake hands with mind maps mind map will give you the idea in the very short duration work for the topics which maybe you are weak at right you remember weak at i meant to say that you have solved pyq you have solved mock test you know things where you get stuck you know things where you forget maybe you forget the examples of unisexual bisexual flower right maybe you forget the flow of the blood in the double circulation so wherever you get stuck have a look at it specially so that you do not forget that topic in your board exam so during the uh, last day what you have to do yes you have to very first thing revise well revise with the help of flow charts revise with the help of mind maps revise with the help of diagrams as well as any important question which your teacher has told you and which has come in the past year questions multiple times do not forget to deal with those questions specifically and also guys in this 10 days you cannot afford to fall ill i know the weather is changing and many of the people around you they are feeling ill right they are having cold they are having cough they are having fever but you guys cannot afford to fall ill if you already are not feeling well if you are feeling sick make sure you are taking good care of yourself wear proper clothes have good comforting warm food and yes say no to the junk food junk food right now is your enemy right it will not let you and your mind function well so say tata bye bye to all the junk food even if you want to have those junk food you can but after this duration that is after your exam you can treat yourself okay if i give this exam very nicely then i can treat myself with a particular maybe pizza pasta whatever you want to eat so please keep it as a treat after your board exams for this short duration of time say tata bye bye to all the junk food and lastly beta keep your mindset positive you have studied hard you have given your all in this one year of preparation right you have given your all you have studied hard trust yourself believe in yourself that yes 90% plus marks is achievable achievable it is possible and you have to do it and repeat after me guys repeat after me that you can do it and you will do it i have full power in you i hope you have that power and trust in yourself as well so yes 10 days are left full focus full power 90% is just waiting for you be positive you're going to score it focus well power well and then only this 90% marks will be there for you right if you have any concern guys before your board exam any any random thing comes to your mind do not forget to write down in the comment section we all are here to help you for your board exams we are here to take care of you if you have any concern do let us know in the comment section and yes with that i shall say bye bye to you everyone do not forget work with the confidence in your exam keep learning keep shining i shall see you soon bye bye